Okay, good morning class, welcome back to Math 11. Uh, today we're continuing on with our review on uh, trig functions, and today we're specifically going to be looking at cosine ratios, cosines. The three ratios that we work with are sine, cosine, and tan, tangent. And so today we're going to be looking at sketching a scenario for cosine and the formula for cosine of any angle is going to be A, which is adjacent, the adjacent side, over H, which is the hypotenuse, the longest side in the, in the triangle. So let's look at an example here. Uh, Janelee's a photographer. That means she's a map maker. She works with maps. She's creating a map of a new housing development, and she needs to include the angle of intersection on the map. You know that means where two streets meet. It's an intersection. When the intersection is less than 70 degrees, less than 70, it's called a skewed intersection. So if it's less than 70, it's called skewed. And she puts a special mark on the map. The surveyors forgot to write down the angle formed by Seaway and Sunnyside Street. So on our sketch, we have Seaway and Sunnyside. She knows the lengths of the streets. She can, uh, and she puts it down here. She has Seaway is 1,600 meters long, and Sunnyside Street is 3,500 meters long. How can she determine if the intersection is skewed? Calculate the angle between the two streets to the nearest degree. So we have to find an angle and we can round it off to a degree with no decimals in it. So first we draw the diagram. So here she has a right angle triangle. She has two streets that intersect. She doesn't know what this angle is. She has to find the angle because if the angle is less than 70, then it has to be marked with a special sign called skewed, skewed intersection. So she writes down what she knows. She knows that the length of Seaway is 1,600 meters. So the street here is 1,600 meters. The length of Sunnyside is 3,500 meters. And she has to find out what the angle is between the two. So she needs to, need to find out what that angle is between the two streets. Now, if we look at our triangle, uh, sorry, at our triangle again, this is the right angle. Remember, the side opposite is the hypotenuse. If we look at this reference angle, the side opposite is the opposite side, and the side that's next to this angle is the adjacent. So what are the figures we have here? Well, they tell us that the adjacent side is 1,600 meters, and the hypotenuse is 3,500 meters. So we're given A and we're given H. And going back to our acronym, SOKATOA, the trig function that uses adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine. So that's how we know we've got to use cosine. So we're getting back to our formula. We want to find out what the angle is. We write down the cosine of the angle that we're trying to find out is the adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Adjacent side is 1,600 meters. We divide it by 3,500 meters. That's the hypotenuse. When we put it into our calculator, and I'll do that for you right now, Let 
let's clear what we have already. We have 1600 divided by 3500. That's going to give us a decimal fraction, 0 0.457128. We need to use that to find the angle. On your calculator, you'll have functions sine, cosine, and tan. But when you're trying to find the angle, we use the second function of that. On your calculator, you either have a button that says 2ND or shift. On this case here, it is a arrow. So I'm going to push that. And then I want cosine. You see that it comes up with this label COS minus 1. That's going to be the angle. Once I press on that, it comes up with 62.7971. So I can write that down as 62. I'll write 62.79, then we'll round it off to the nearest degree. So 62.79. Sixty two point seven nine seven we'll round it to the nearest degree it means that if we look at this number here it is five or more we can round up to from sixty two to sixty three. So that angle between the two streets is sixty three degrees. Since the angle is about sixty three, it's less than seventy. So it is a skewed intersection we would write down so they want to know what the angle was and if it's a skewed intersection so because it's less than 70 we'd write that the angle at the intersection is about 63 and so it is a skewed intersection okay here we have another example quick one highway crew is repairing the trail the uh, Kanaskis Trail on ramp for the Trans-Canada Highway in Alberta. The length of the ramp is 450 meters and it joins the highway 300 meters from the trail. What angle does the ramp make with the highway to the nearest degree? So the first thing we're going to do is make a, a diagram. So we're going to have a ramp And the length of the ramp is 450 meters. And it joins the highway 300 meters from the trail. So here it is, and it joins the highway 350, uh, 300 meters away from the trail. That's the horizontal distance. They want to know what angle does it make. So we need to know what that angle is. So if we label that, there's our reference angle. That's the opposite side. Our right angle's there. So this one here is our hypotenuse. And the side that's next to it is the adjacent. We're given the adjacent. We're given the hypotenuse. Adjacent, hypotenuse. They give it to us. Adjacent, hypotenuse. That means we have to use ka, cosine. So we write down cosine of theta. We don't know what that is. I just used that symbol, theta, the angle, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, which equals 300 meters over 450. And when I want to find that angle, I have to use the second function of cosine of 300 divided by 450. So then we go back to our calculator. It's clear from previous work. We take 300 divided by 450. We get this decimal fraction. Remember, we want to get the second function of cosine. And it comes out to 48.18 to the nearest degree. I can round that off. So 
plus degrees. Just want to bring that up. Since this is 1, we can leave it at 48. So the angle of the trail to the highway, does a ramp make with the highway? TC, TransCanada, not Transition Center, TransCanada Highway. is 48 degrees. Now you can either write degrees or you can just use this uh, symbol for degrees, a little zero on the top. So the last point is when you're looking for the angle on your calculator, you either have a key up, usually on the left hand side of your calculator near the top and it's either marked 2 and D or it might be marked shift. And that's what you're going to hit. You have your cosine down here. You hit that, and that's going to give you the the angle. Okay. Yeah. Depends what type of calculator you have. So you have to play around. Everybody has a different calculator. Check your uh, your computer, see which one you have. So your assignment for uh, next day is uh, practice pages. I've uh, copied them into your uh, lesson here, 318, 319. You're only to do 1A, 2E. Some people don't understand. That means it's A, B, C, D, and E, all five there. Then you have 2A, B, just 2A and 2D, 3B, 3C, Four and six, and then that extra handout only three A, three B, three C, four D, six and seven. I believe I have a copy attached to that, so I'll just show you what I mean. There is page three eighteen. So you're going to do that first question on this page, and if you uh, the next page is here as well. And then your extra practice, you're not doing all of these, you're only doing the ones that indicate it, like 3C here. Okay. That's it. Thank you. See you next class.